10 years of Adelante Africa and some recent news. First of all, we want to say a big thank you to all the supporters and volunteers who have been with us over the years. We're very aware that without you, none of this story could have happened. It all started in 2008, when a lorry load of Spanish tourists were on an overland trip to Uganda and Rwanda. Their lorry got stuck outside a mud school in Western Uganda. The experience they had there made the occupants of the lorry decide to raise money to rebuild the school. Since then, Adelante Africa has been growing and adding to its projects year by year. In 2010, we finished the new school. In 2012, we opened a children's home, the only ministry recognized home in the area. In 2014, we started building a non-profit secondary school to give local children a quality but affordable education. In 2015, we bought a sunflower mill to make cooking oil and animal cake with the aim of providing local farmers with an alternative cash crop, so money in their pockets for school fees and medicines. These are the main projects of Adelante Africa, but local volunteers run a number of community programs, including adult education, a nursery school, hairdressing and sewing classes for young women, a non-interest microcredit system to stimulate local businesses, six monthly vitamin A and deworming campaigns, six monthly chicken vaccination campaigns, a project to stimulate the growth and consumption of green vegetables, regular surgical camps run by volunteer Spanish surgeons and doctors, and a project which enables families build homemade water tanks to save them the daily struggle to collect water. On Sunday, June the 2nd, there will be a party at the Sala Galileo Galilei in Madrid to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Adelante Africa. We hope as many of you as possible will be able to join us. Meanwhile, here is some news to bring you up to date. In April, six Spanish doctors spent two weeks working in the Kakindu Health Centre 4. Along with Ugandan doctors and nurses, they screened over 200 patients and operated on over 60 of these. Operations included hernias, tumours and plastic surgery on injuries that were a result of accidents or burns. The gynaecologist of the group did an emergency caesarean and the paediatrician resuscitated the baby and saved his life. Two of the doctors visited local schools to talk to the children about healthy habits and the prevention of disease. Before the doctors returned to Spain, the local authorities presented them with a letter of thanks for their love, generosity and selflessness. The Adelante Africa Secondary School has 220 children and for the first time this year we have a Senior 4 class who will do their O-levels in November. The school has been registered with the Ministry of Education and we are now doing the paperwork so it can be an examination centre. Meanwhile, the children have been enjoying a field trip to get hands-on experience to help with their commerce and geography exams. The Ugandan school year begins in February and here are the 20 new children who will be sponsored at the school from Senior 1. A screening process is carried out by Adelante Africa volunteers and the school itself to identify really needy children. 
Here is the home of one of them, so you can see the background these children come from. The school tries to focus on the well-being of the children as well as their academic progress. Every evening there is an assembly led by the children themselves where they speak about different aspects of school life and then sing an evening hymn. We are trying to give a big push to the old press and this spring we have built a new storehouse. We have also bought a new motor driven oil press and a machine that cleans the seats before they are crushed, as well as a generator to keep the smaller machines going and the lights on when the electricity goes off. The workforce has been enlarged with the idea of working in two shifts in the near future. We also have a cashier and a storekeeper. We are now engaged in the hunt for customers. We already have a number of nearby schools and shops, but we need to find many more in order to become sustainable. Things tend to go slowly in Uganda, but we are hoping they will be slow, but sure. The children continue to grow healthy and happy. Many of them have formed close relationships with the families they visit at the weekends and during the holidays. Meanwhile, funds raised by the musical put on by the secondary school El Burgo de Ignacio Chevarria in Madrid were spent on putting solar panels on each of the houses. This means that the frequent electricity cuts no longer plunge the home into total darkness. The children of Omoana to gain their home made some toys as presents for the children of a primary school in Madrid. The children in Madrid in turn raised enough money to buy the Ugandan children a merry-go-round that can accommodate 12 children at a time. They are greatly looking forward to being finished. We have plans to move the home to a safer place, rebuilding it near St. Joseph's School and converting the existing buildings into a business school for girls. This is because the government are about to build a major road to the oil fields in Hoima that's going to go just outside our gate. The money raised from the concert and party on the 2nd of June will be the first step towards this goal. Please come and join us. As they say in Uganda, you will be most welcome.